Gang, it has been a while since I've posted a video. I've just been super tied up. We've also been working on breaking this in and doing the final tuning on it. If you haven't seen the videos where we've overhauled the engine and did the work to it, uh, feel free, I'll post the link here in this video to get to them. It's been really good to go through and get the brake in done. We've got about 80 hours now on the aircraft, done some good cross country with it and it's flying great. But in this video, we're gonna walk through setting up an RNAV LPV approach into Caldwell Airport, runway 12. And what I wanna showcase in here is just the integration between the GTN 750 and the G5s, as well as the vertical navigation. Now we don't fly the vertical nav in this particular approach, just because we aren't coming in from a higher altitude or we would have. But I wanted to showcase it either way, so it's programmed in. <clears throat> and then you'll get to see the LPV pick up on the glide slope. We'll actually fly down through the final approach fix. We end up breaking off early and we knew that would be the case just because winds and traffic were favoring runway 30. And we broke off early to make sure we had plenty of safety margins to go around. We landed and traded pilots and continued on with the training. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you find it useful, feel free to subscribe. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and load the procedure up. We're going to select the procedure for Airport of Caldwell, which has already loaded the flight plan. The approach will be the RNAV 12, which is an LPV approach. And we'll transition via Red V. We can see on the depicted chart here, 4100 at the final approach fix and 5000 at Red V. We can also see here the VNAV is selected at or above 5000 for Red V, cross Red V, final approach fix above 4100 at or above. Okay, so we're on the outbound leg here. We just crossed Red B and we're doing a procedure turn outbound. And we'll fly inbound to the final approach fix. Here we're making a standard rate turn on the outbound leg toward the inbound fix. We're on this corner right here, turning inbound towards Red B. If we were higher than 5,000, the VNAV would navigate us to 5,000, which is depicted in the chart. Wind runway 30, Caldwell. You can see here the little purple arrow that points left is the vertical nav. If we were actually flying the vertical nav, we'd be tracking that, but we're just intercepting it at this point. Cold traffic arrow, 38776, four miles to the west on the RNAV 12. We'll see here that on the final approach picks, the altitude for intercept of the glide slope for the LPV is going to be 4,100 feet. So you can see the pilot is descending. You can also see the glide slope intercepting at this point. And the lateral course down below in the HSI is pretty clean. Traffic 8 7 echoes, turning right, cross with 30, call one. Coming up on 4100, we'll see that the glide slope is intercepting. Right here, the little purple diamond. And that'll put us right over Celeb, which is the final approach fix and Celeb is listed at 4,100 on the chart. Okay, I'll just break off now. Okay, you got a guy to your left right there climbing? Okay, I see him. Yeah. Yep, or Caldwell traffic arrow 776 is breaking off the RNAV 12. 
entering the uh, right pattern, 3-0. We had to break off a little early on this approach because we were opposite direction intentionally. We knew we'd have to break off early, and we did. We swung around to 3-0 and made a landing and uh, traded off pilots. 